So we are in my kitchen, and um, it's Sunday evening, and we are in here with a project. You know, I always talk about making sure to um, make enough food in one go, so that way you can have portions throughout the week. And we are doing that tonight, so why don't you come in a little closer and I'll show you. Tonight what we're going to have is we're having some tilapia. I'm making a lot of tilapia. It's only Miguel and I, but we're making enough for a couple of nights. And we're going to have that with shredded cabbage, with some carrots. I got some organic carrots here, and I went to the farmer's market, got some fresh soup, uh, no, summer squashes, some funky summer squashes. You can see those in there. So, and with pesto sauce, so you guys will get to see that. And uh, then as a side dish, we're having um, um, like a sauteed beets and chard. Let me show you guys that good stuff. That's already getting hot. Here are our beets we got from the farmer's market today. We're going to put them in here and we're going to steam them for about 30 minutes. And once they're steamed, the, uh, the skin just comes right off and they're, they're so delicious. And then we're gonna saute them with this chard. So that's the big dinner that we're making tonight. But in between that dinner, we're also going to be doing up some chicken. Can you see the chicken over there? Um, to go into the salads that we're gonna be making all week long. I'm gonna be baking our sweet potatoes to go so that way we have some nice complex starches and um, and if you come over here you can see that I have the uh, water and almond milk boiling for the oatmeal which is what we're going to be eating for the morning time so essentially we're going to be cooking multiple meals at once here and I'm going to show you when it's all said and done so see ya okay we're right in the middle you guys are ready to go I have the tilapia right here this is my tilapia steak I'm going to do Got about a half a tablespoon of um, half a tablespoon. I'm okay. Like For some reason, when Miguel was helping me here, um, he covered up the the mic, so that's why you can't hear me. That's why I'm doing a little voice over here. But as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of pesto to the tilapia. Um, I did get some store bought pesto, but you can do your own. Just be light on the olive oil. I'm adding about a handful of cabbage. A little handful of looks like some summer squash. I got some sliced carrots I'm adding. Uh, doo, 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 doo. What else are we adding here? Until we, Oh, a little salt looks like, a little pepper. And I bet you 10 bucks I drizzle it with just like maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And yep. Oh, and I think at this point I'm talking about how I absolutely have to measure because if I don't, I'll put like two tablespoons and not even think about it. And you don't need two tablespoons. You only need a teaspoon. One small little baby teaspoon will do the job. And that equals maybe somewhere between 30 and 50 calories. It's not, it's not substantial. Fold it over. I've done this with parchment paper or foil. Both work. I made little individual ones. That way they're easy to put in a, a little uh, container when it's over. Looks like I'm cooking some chard. Oh, those are the beets. Don't do beets if you're if you're on the 21 day challenge. And that's my oatmeal cooking in the background. Yep, there it is. I'm cooking it. That way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow morning. All right, party people. There I am. Look at that big old smile. Hello. All right. Done with that. Oh my God, that's gonna be so good. You know what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna just add some balsamic vinegar to it, just to give it a little bit of a um. Everything's gonna turn bright pink. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Yummy. Can't wait to eat that. This is almost done, and looky here. Ooh, we just pulled the tilapia out. Here's all the uh, vegetables. We've got the squash. We've got the pesto over. We just kind of looked into that tilapia. I, I'm very freaky about meat. I don't like it undercooked. I don't want to eat raw. But it looks really flaky and perfect and ready to go. And these are ready, and we'll probably have one of these to share tonight because they're such big fillets. And then look what we got for the rest of the week. And then here we go, our beets and chard, and a little bit of summer squash. It's almost, it's just about done, honey. Maybe 30 more seconds, and that's going on a plate. All righty, here we go. Oh, and I, I got to show you. Now we got the sweet potatoes, and they're going in the oven right now. You want to open that, honey? And then we'll just dump those in. Sweet, bye-bye. There's the chard with the beets. Miguel's in love with avocado. This is the, uh, the fish about four ounces of fish with all sorts of yummy vegetables, a little pesto. I added a little balsamic vinegar to the chard. Um, we've got the extras for the week right over there. 
The extra chard is already in a little container. If I wanted to be really diligent, I would do it out in portions, and so that way they would already be ready to go. Then we have the oatmeal, it's already finished and ready to go. We have the uh, sweet potatoes in the oven, cooking up, and I went ahead and put some uh, chicken. This is what's gonna go on top of my salads uh, for the week. So this is kind of a little uh, how-to, multiple meals in one setting. And how long do you think we've been in the kitchen, honey? Like 30 minutes or less? 30, yeah. It's been about 35 minutes total. We have dinner for tonight. We've got food for the rest of the week. I'm cooking up the chicken right now. We're going to sit down and eat, and uh, by the time we finish cleaning, when it's all said and done, it might be maybe a little over an hour. Hour 15, you think? Yeah. We're gonna in, because we're going to enjoy our meal. We're going to sit down and relax, have a chill Sunday night, have some fun. All right, you guys don't need to know too much. All right, talk to you later. Bye.